Ever since the release of the very first Star Wars movie in 1977, the franchise has become one of the most beloved and popular film series of all time. Today at the Corbett Center, the Aggie Activity Council hosted May the 4th. The event featured games, food, and a Star Wars raffle. Students came dressed in their best Star Wars apparel to show their love for the movies. Star Wars is so big that May the 4th has been named an unofficial national holiday. Movies are so fun. I'm trying to get into the extended universe stuff. The original movie, even in itself, goes into that deep theory of storytelling that I think resonates within everybody. Honestly, that's so crazy that like one movie can actually spark a holiday out of it. I've always been a fan. I just think it's really cool. I mean, my dad, he told me about whenever he first saw it. He was like seven years old. May the 4th has been a huge success here at the Corbett Center, and the Activity Council could not be more pleased with the results. Andy Moderno works for the Activity Council and is a Star Wars fan himself. In fact, the whole event was his idea. Star Wars is just something that all of us grew up on, whether we like it or not. So just being able to bring out this nostalgic and myself and all these students is just awesome to see. I've been a Star Wars fan since I was probably about six or seven years old. My dad showed me all the old, the classics. May the 4th is, is an example of how much people love Star Wars and how great of an impact it has had on their lives as it has been passed down from generation to generation. The next chapter of the Star Wars saga, The Last Jedi, is set to come out in December. Until then, may the 4th and the Force be with you.